Saying like what I do at a live show is for the audience at the live show. It'll never translate correctly to somebody looking at a little five, six second clip from their goddamn crib. Me and all my That's fans true, at the That's show. The gay ones and the straight ones, we turn the f up. What's good? Dark Knight Gang and the Stank Gang, motherfucking gang. Hey, bro, today, we about to talk about the baby real quick. I woke up this morning, right? Saw on Instagram, Boohoo Man dropping the baby. Do a leap of hat comments to say about the baby. Demi Lovato has something to say about the baby. Bro, everybody named Mama going crazy over the baby and his performance at Rolling Loud when he was like, oh, if you ain't in a parking lot slobbing on some knob, you know what I'm saying? Put your uh, cell phones in the air. If you a girl, you got that water, you got that wet, wet, put your cell phones in the air. If you ain't got HIV and AIDS, put your cell phones in the air. And everybody going crazy over that. It makes no sense. Look, look, before we watch this video, we're going to watch a video from my boy. This is Blackie Speaks. I love his YouTube channel. I watch his channel all the time. I was about to watch it by myself, but I'm like, why not? Let's talk about it, and we can see what the homie has to say about it as well. But look, before we watch this video, bro, me personally, I've been to a lot of concerts. So I know he was just trying to get the people hyped. He was just up there speaking. Y'all know the baby is kind of funny. Look at all his music videos. It has like a comedic element to it. You know what I'm saying? So the baby always cracking jokes. He's a funny dude, low key, bro. So him saying that, I'm sure he didn't mean any harm by it. So the LGBTQ community, everybody else that's on his head, like they just need to understand. He was at a concert. He was lit. He trying to get everybody in a concert lit. So he just said something random to get people lit. Like he didn't mean any harm by it. That's my take on it, bro. You guys know. I love the LGBTQ community. I'm not part of it, but I love them because it is what it is. I already know the struggle that they have to go through. You feel me? So shout out to them. But at the same time, I'm telling you, the baby didn't mean any harm by it. But yeah, Boohoo Man dropping him. So many people talking bad about him. They trying to cancel the homie because he said something stupid at a concert trying to get the audience lit. This world is going way too soft, bro. But anyway... I want to know what you guys have to say about it. Let me know what you think about it down in the comments really quick. We're going to see what Blackie Speak has to say. I hope everybody have a good day. Have a great day. Shout out to the gang. You already know what's up. Let's go. Now, the baby got to talk about this little rant he went on yesterday while he was performing. It's a pretty hot topic at the moment, and the baby is currently trending. However, he's not trending for a good reason at all. Let me tell you that. But uh, yeah. Let's talk about it. Now, the baby was performing at the Rolling Loud Festival yesterday and said a couple things during his set, which has, to say the least, made some crazy headlines. I mean, everyone is talking about it right now. Twitter is on fire after these comments. Anyway, let me play you this little clip of what he actually said, and uh, we'll continue from there. Listen to this, bro. You didn't show up today with HIV, AIDS, any of them deadly sexual transmitted diseases that'll make you die in two, three weeks, put a cell phone like up. Lady, if your pussy smell like water, Put his cell phone like the uh fellas. Lights up. Fellas, if you ain't sucking nigga dick in the parking lot, put your cell phone like that. Real, People really tripping just because he said that. Oh man, I got a lot of things going through my head right now. One of them being, which a lot of people have already mentioned, but sucking dick in the parking lot is oddly specific, my good sir. I'm just saying. The clip <laughs> might have been a little inaudible since the environment is so chaotic, so here's an exact transcript of what he said. If you didn't show up today with HIV, AIDS, or any of them deadly sexually transmitted diseases that'll make you die in two or three weeks, then put your cell phone lighter up. That is oddly specific, though, huh? Why Ladies, do you say all that? Ladies, if you smell like water, put your cell phone lighter up. Fellas, if you ain't fucking in the parking lot, put your cell phone lighter up. Transition in this conversation to how DaBaby responded to the backlash. He a couple hours ago put up a couple of tweets, which we're gonna get to. But first, let's check out this IG story he put up. You know what I'm saying like what I do at a live show is for the audience at the live show. It'll never translate correctly to somebody looking at a little five, six second clip from their goddamn crib. Me and all I mean, my fans true, at the that's show. What I'm the gay ones and the straight ones, we turn the fuck up. You niggas that wasn't, that ain't at the show. The show is for the niggas who paid the money and, and took the time out of their life to come enjoy the show. Not you motherfuckers watching it on the internet at the crib. No, niggas, just get your tickets and come f with the live show killer, gay or straight. I say, if you don't got AIDS, put a cell phone light up. 
I said, if you ain't suck dick in the parking lot, put your cell phone lights up. So I could drop my next song. I wasn't going on no rent. That's called a call to action. That's what that's called, because I'm a live performer. Yeah, I get it. That's what I'm saying. I've been to a lot of concerts. They all say stuff. Oh, if you if you got money, put your cell phone lighter up. If you came here with your put your lighter up. Like, that's what I'm saying. Even though it was Ali specific, but he was just saying random stuff, bro. And then as far as the tweets, here's what he said exactly. I tell fans to put up a cell phone light in the air and y'all start a million man march. I told you y'all digested that wrong, but Facts. I ain't gonna lie, I'm impressed. Now show the same amount of support when a racist cop kills one of our black ass. Anybody who done been affected by AIDS or HIV, y'all got the right to be upset. What I said was insensitive, even though I have no intentions on offending anybody, so my apologies. But the LGBT community, I ain't tripping on y'all. Do you? Y'all business is y'all business. And for any brands, networks, or artists that like to profit off of black rappers' influence on a culture without understanding it or having the patience to deal with what comes with the position we play in our culture, keep your money next time us niggas human too. God bless. As you can imagine, people have been going crazy over this whole thing. Yes, he's getting canceled on social media as we speak, which personally, I'm not a fan of cancel culture. I just not think there either, should bro. be some kind of repercussions for acting out and saying stupid shit like this. What those repercussions look like, honestly, I'm not sure. Because there's not too much that could be done by the public aside from, I don't know, boycotting his music, which the baby's fans won't do that because they're not the ones speaking out against what the baby said. It's more the general public. Yes, a lot of hip hop fans are as well. But the backlash is more coming from the outside of the culture and not so much from the inside. I mean, I even saw T.I. defending the baby by saying, If Lil Nas X can kick his shit in peace, so should the baby. Low Hashtag key, equality. bro. Man, leave Lil Nas X out of this. Please, but that's still can, facts, can we do though. that? Just leave Lil Nas X out of this conversation. <laughs> he has nothing to do with this conversation, okay? Leave all him right, out of it. Right, right. Aside from the public's reaction, an artist actually spoke out against what DaBaby said. This artist is someone who's actually collabed with DaBaby in the past, and uh, you might know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about Dua Lipa. If yeah. you don't know who this is, she's like one of the biggest pop stars in the world at yeah. the moment. She has this song called Levitating with DaBaby that came out last year. The song is absolutely huge. Like, it's really big. It was a very, very very, very big moment for DaBaby because like I said, the song is huge. Anyway, she put up an Instagram story a couple hours ago saying, I'm surprised and horrified at DaBaby's comments. Uh, I really don't recognize this as a person I work with. I know my fans know where my you heart know, lies and that I stand. She should know he didn't mean it that way, but she doing this just to make sure she protects herself since she worked with him. You know what I'm saying? And she's like, oh, let me say this. With the LGBT community, we need to I come together to fight that. the stigma and ignorance around HIV and AIDS. I actually don't think she should should have had to say anything because why hold her accountable for what the baby said they made nah, a song together sure but it's just business at the end of the day. With that being said, kind of obvious how this is very bad for business. Getting denounced by one of the biggest pop stars, someone you've collaborated with, how is that gonna affect potential collaborations the baby might have, you know, otherwise had with pop stars in Dua Lipa's lane? It's obviously gonna have a negative effect. I guess let's break this entire thing down though. First of all, man, I don't know why the baby thought that using HIV as a way to interact with the audience during his performance and was a random. good idea because it was not. As you could hear in that clip that I played you earlier the ig story as in response to the controversy he said that it was a way for him to interact with his audience well yeah. i say there's other ways to do that you know blackie come on bro of course there's other ways for him to do that he was just lit and hyped up that's the first thing that just came to his mind bro I'm telling you. The way you did it. It's one of those situations where you look at the kind of environment the baby is in. You know, he's on stage, doing what he does, performing in front of a lot of people, handling business. And you wonder, how exactly does that enter your mind? What the baby is forgetting is, no matter what intention you had deep down in your heart with what you said, you don't truly know your audience because they're in the millions. Yeah. A public figure, a famous rapper like the baby attracts a demographic of listeners from all walks of life. If you make good music, if you know how to make some hits, you're gonna have not only a lot of fans, but a lot of different kinds of fans. In this case, for the baby, he happens to have a lot of fans who are straight and a lot of fans who are not straight. What the baby has done now is alienated that audience because of what he said. This was a very very dumb move from a business perspective. The baby saying yeah, something like this obviously now has pushed away that audience. They're certainly not gonna support you after this, and I know the baby doesn't need them per se. He's most definitely, you know, just judging from the success he has, doing very great financially, but 
that's still a big portion of listeners, you've now alienated due to your ignorance because these were some very ignorant comments. Let's not kid ourselves. I get making jokes and wanting to connect with your audience, but doing it this way, it's just not it, man. All right, bro, let's talk about it. So we heard Blackie Speaks basically go over the whole thing. He gave us his thoughts on it as well. He thinks it was a dumb move from the baby and he shouldn't have said it. Of course, it was a dumb move. I'm not disagreeing with you, bro. Obviously, that was dumb. Of course, he shouldn't have said it. But at the same time, I'm saying I understand. He was lit. He was hyped up. I don't know why that's the first thing that popped into his mind. Something could have happened to him prior going on stage. Maybe a dude was trying to hit on him. So in the back of his mind, he was automatically thinking about, you know, gay people. You feel me? So I, I don't know why <laughs> that's the first thing that happened to his mind because I wouldn't have said that. I would have said something like, ladies, if your pussy smell like water, put your lighters up. Niggas, if you getting some hair tonight, put your lighters up. Like, you see what I'm saying? I probably would have said something like that. But he said what he said, just trying to interact with the fans, trying to get everybody lit. I'm not making an excuse for him. Of course not. It was wrong. It was stupid. But for people to want to cancel him just because he said that and he issued an apology, letting everybody know, like, bro, I'm just trying to, like, interact with the fans. Y'all shouldn't have said that about HIV and AIDS. Even though he said the LGBTQ community, y'all do what y'all want. He should have apologized to them, too. He should have been like, look, my fault. Y'all know I ain't got no issue with them. I mean, even though he did say that, he said it was, you know, gay people in the crowd, and he was turning up with them. He had no issue with them. But I'm saying he, he should have issued kind of like an apology to them as well. Like, y'all know I didn't mean nothing by it, bro. Like, chill. But anyway, those are my thoughts on it. I don't think he should be canceled. I think people need to realize what was going on. He was lit. He was trying to interact. Yes, it was dumb. Yes, he shouldn't have said that, of course. But to cancel him from making a mistake... Just as long as he doesn't do it again. You feel me? I feel like he's going to learn from this experience and be like, all right, I'll never do that again. I'll never mention anything like that again. Boom, that's good enough. In my eyes, that's good enough. Well, let me ask you this. And let me ask myself this. What if a white artist, what if Post Malone, oh, I love Post Malone. What if Post Malone was interacting with the crowd and then said something about black people? Ooh. See, you got to play devil's advocate. What if he says something ignorant regarding black people? How would I feel about that? If he says something racist? Ooh. I got to think on that, bro. Mm. See, you put it into a different perspective. Hmm. Hey, you know what? Them being mad at him? I don't, I don't know. Because, yeah, if Post Malone was getting lit, and for some reason he was just like, hey, to all my people in the crowd, they ain't getting shot by cops because you ain't black. Put your lighters up. Ooh! <laughs> How would I feel, bro? How would you feel, bro? Oh, snap. Ooh, I got to think on that one. Ooh, I can't believe I just thought of that example, bro. I'll be so mad at that dude if he did that. So exactly, when I show him the same leniency, I'm trying to show the baby right now. You see what I'm saying? Bro, y'all know I'm a thinker. I love to think. So of course, I'm going to be, you know what I'm saying? That's just me. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments, man. We got to talk about that. Sheesh. Shout out to the gang. I love y'all. More reactions on the way. I just wanted to do this one first because this is the first thing I wanted to do before I did any other reactions. You feel me? But yeah, reactions on the way, maybe in like an hour, something like that. See y'all next time. Peace.